Good morning, folks. Arvermill47 here. It is May 12th. Uh, 6.37 a.m. is when I'm making uh, this video, and that's uh, central time. Um, HARP continues to show a lot of broadband disturbance. Uh, looks like the higher end has subsided somewhat, uh, I guess above about 4 hertz. But we still have a lot of intense activity around 175, 1.75 hertz, then around the 2 hertz, which has been the 2.5 is not quite as busy today. We've got the 3 hertz still going on, and then about the 3.5 the hertz. Again, uh, still a lot of interference going on here. Uh, and this is from the induction magnetometer again at the uh, HARP facility in uh, Alaska, Gakona, Alaska. And um, again, just wanted to kind of update you on that to let you know where we stand HARP wise this morning. Now, here's a look, it's a different look at the sun surface. Uh, this is uh, pretty much showing like the x ray field of the sun. Uh, this is the area that shot off the coronal mass ejection that coincided with the comet crashing into the uh, sun yesterday. Um, right now it's still considered just a coincidence that uh, the comet went in and this happened just right about at the same time. It's I don't believe I've ever seen anything quite like that happen at the same time. What we're looking at here again is uh, called a filament eruption. It's a uh, it still sends massive tons of uh, plasma into the uh, sun's atmosphere and then into the space earth weather system and uh, probably will set off some geomagnetic storming uh, in the next day or two because uh, it was a pretty big eruption. Again um, the experts are saying that uh, there's just really no chance that that comet could have anything to do with this eruption just because a comet usually is just nothing but a big dirty ball of ice. So I guess further study will show. Anyway, it's again one of those interesting phenomenon and it's just bizarre that it's kind of happening right now while we're watching a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, y'all have a good one.